Yo, what's going on everyone? I'm the Mouth of the South. We are back here today with another reaction video and we're back with some mental cruelty. I last checked them out as a Patreon request for my main man, Chris, reacting to their album Purgatorium. And then I also reacted to Lucas Schmerler's um, cover of Requiem by Chelsea Grin. And I said it was better than the original because anything that replaces Alex is better than original Chelsea Grin. They dropped a new song a couple days ago and I've been putting off listening to it. But everyone has said it's really fucking good and that I need to check it out. So that's why we're here. So the song is called Ultima Hippocri Hippocrita. Ultima Hippocrita. And I'm pretty sure I just summoned a demon. So, without further ado, let's just get into this. Mental cruelty. Ultima Hippocrita. Let's fucking go. I want Lucas Schmeller to bury me. Unique leader. We know our boys. Let's turn it all the way the fuck up. Oh. Oh. This is new! Okay. The violins! Oh my god! Oh! This is beautiful! This is black in this fuck! There's your boy. Oh! The grandeur! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, it's heavy. Come on. Oh my god! This is something else! Rip it off. Off.
Solo time! Oh, it's evil. It's evil. Oh, this song is red! Do it again, though. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we're gonna let the credits roll. We've gotta let the credits roll. Wow! I'm just gonna... Standing fucking ovation. Standing ovation. I'm gonna keep clapping. Take a fucking bow. Take a bow. Wow. That was something else. I did not expect that. Wow. Holy fucking shit. I did not expect. It to be that good and I mean that in the nicest way possible as in I knew mental cruelty were good I really liked purgatorium but this hit different it sounds so different to what I've heard before it, it, it was so so blackened there was so much black metal influence in there and I love it I fucking love it also Luca, my boy, he has just like such a well-rounded, full growl that reminds me quite a lot of Alex Terrible. And then his highs are kind of Bendur-esque and I really like that. His range is really well done and it's implemented into the song fucking perfectly. The song itself is a masterpiece. After six and a half minutes... I should not be like, oh my god, it shouldn't be over. Six and a half minutes and I'm left begging for more. That shouldn't happen. But wow. Wow. This hit different. Da Deathcore, right, is doing bits. There is a video out there that says Deathcore died with Mitch Locker. And this guy does a whole breakdown of everything. And he's like, oh, Deathcore's dead. It died when Mitch Locker died. And basically that there's no good Deathcore bands out there anymore. Motherfucker! Shadow of Intent, Infant Annihilator, Slaughter to Prevail, uh, Brand of Sacrifice, Lorna Shaw, Mental Cruelty, I could go on all day. But goddamn, just when you thought Deathcore was hitting its peak with Gravesinger, uh, not Gravesinger, sorry, with Melancholy by Shadow of Intent, Lorna Shaw come out and do something different with Immortal. And just when you think we've kind of hit like the peak and the pinnacle of Deathcore, Round of Sacrifice come out with lifeblood and they do fucking bits and destroy the scene. And now Mental Cruelty are doing bits as well. Wow. The scene is more alive than ever and I could not be happier about it. Fuck yes. Everything in this song sounded so good. The ambience that it built up to, the beautiful, 
beautiful acoustic intro. The orchestral voices, the strings, the symphony, all blended so, so well. The music video as well was fucking awesome and really, really worked and told the story of the song. Mm. Everything sounded great. Guitars were great. Drummer was off the fucking chain. I love that little drum solo into the song. Love that. I always love a, a drum intro. And goddamn, that solo at the end. That solo at the end. You had your normal kind of willy willy woos and like some really nice guitar crying. But he, like, when he was, like, hitting the whammy bar or doing something with the whammy bar to make it do the wow, 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 wow. Like, that thing? Oh, oh, it hit different. This song hit so different. And I'm going to draw comparisons to Immortal by Lorna Shaw, as in the song of the album. Um... Because there's too many not to draw. Pagany witch type video, really nice symphonic elements, an awesome intro which then leads into a fucking killer song, an amazing fucking chorus, and a vocalist just absolutely killing you. But it's not just immortal. It's so much more than that. And this song, wow, 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 wow. It's one of the best songs I have heard in a long time long time this is going straight on the playlist and i'm gonna be playing it on fucking repeat because how could you not how could you not damn if there's an album coming out i'm about it i'm on the hype train i'm on it i'm on it stick me on that mental cruelty hype train your boy is fucking on it i'm all about it let's do it let's fucking smash it i'm all about it because this hit different and fuck man I loved every single second of this and I didn't want it to end. I'm going to end this video because <laughs> I am just, before I talk forever about how good this song is, I am in love. Anyways, that is it for me today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, do naughty things in the comments down below. You've been wonderful people. I've been the mouth of the South. And as always, you guys are still the real motherfucking heroes. I'm out of here, y'all. <laughs>